How is everybody doing? That was actually really good. Usually the first time I do that, I am unimpressed with my response, but I'm not even gonna go any further from that. Um, who's excited to be in Austin? Yeah! I mean, it is, I'm still surprised it's October and it's 98 degrees outside, which is my only complaint, but I love this city. I love this city. Um, last spring, I was out here visiting my good friend Amy. And there are two things that I want you to know about Amy. Uh, Amy loves Bravo, and Amy loves food, right? I mean, this girl loves food. She is a foodie to the heart. She knows the best restaurants to go to, the best dishes to order at the best restaurants, the best cocktails that go with the best dishes at the best restaurants. Like, this girl knows her food. So I'm visiting her last spring, and it's Sunday night, and we go to Odd Duck. We have a lot of locals in here. Who's been to Odd Duck? Anybody? One. All right. Vivi, I know you just moved here, so you need to add this to your list, right? And we're sitting at the bar, and we order draft palomas with a salt foam rim and jalapeno topping, and we're eating beet salad and corn, and, and, um, uh, cast iron cornbread with kale butter and goat cheese ravioli and we're just sitting there and catching up and I ask her what she's doing the rest of this week and she goes well I'm interviewing for a couple of jobs and I'm going to teach a couple of pure bar classes I'm going to go to Chili's on Tuesday Drew and I are going to go to a comedy show and I stop her you're going to Chili's <laughs> and she's like yeah like confused as to why I'm pressing her for more information. And I go, like, I want my baby back, Chili's. <laughs> and she's like, yeah. And I just stare at her. I'm like waiting for her to give me more information about why this like foodie friend of mine is going to Chili's on a Tuesday night. And like no offense to Chili's, right? Like I'm sure it's a lovely restaurant, but it was like very off brand for my friend. And she goes, well, I was streaming Bravo, and I saw an ad with Sheena and Katie from Vanderpump Rules, and they were promoting their new espresso martini, and I got interested. And that is why I love marketing, right? And I tell you this story not because I'm like Chili's next social media influencer, like I'm not, clearly, but I tell you the story of the reminder and the power of a good video. Like, when was the last time you got moved by a display ad? <laughs> or like a paid search ad made you laugh? <laughs> or an email made you tear up? Like, I mean, emotionally in a good way. I've had plenty of work emails that make me cry, <laughs> right? But like, that just doesn't happen in other media channels. And I know it's the ad or the celebrity endorsement that like always gets the credit for what makes a good campaign. And that's fine. Like our creative teams need the social validation to prove that they're doing a good job, right? We media buyers, we don't necessarily need to be in the front to know who's really pulling the strings of what makes a good campaign. But truly, that's why I love marketing. And that's why I got into this business and yeah, we're the first people to blame when sales are bad, right? We are the first line item on the P&L to get cut when budgets have to be decreased. We never get the credit when sales are up. It's always something else like the weather, according to my former analytics teams. But we have the power to influence. We have the power to get people interested. And that's what's great about marketing. Right? So the next time you're in the weeds of vendor negotiations or you're looking at GRP weights versus last year or you're trying to decipher what your MMM came back to drive results, I just want you to remember Amy who saw one video ad and decided to go to Chili's when she's never been in 20 years because she got interested. It's always really humbling for me to be up here on the first day and see all of the people who have come out to their summits. And I know three days out of the office can feel 
like a lot, right? I know the inbox is piling up. I know you're missing meetings. That could have been emails anyway. <laughs> but it's really, really rare that you get three days to step outside and talk to people that you don't normally do from brands that you admire and just to unplug a little bit and learn. So let's get in to it today. So when you think about it, right, three days is really not that long of a time. So enjoy it is the point. As a reminder, everything that we stay on stage is recorded and on the record. A core element of what we do here at Media Post is journalism. It is providing a platform to share and produce the fine work that you guys are putting out. Um, but it's really um, at noon when we turn off the cameras for our off-the-record roundtables where things really get interesting. And these are off-the-record, deep-dive conversations to really get into deeper topics that we've covered on stage today. And today is going to be fun. We have a lot of great content planned for you guys. We're going to talk about the Super Bowl, because how can we not? It's a TV and video summit, right? We're going to learn about how Halo has seen the biggest downloads they've had in history following a very well-placed campaign. You're going to hear from MGM about how they're using social-first assets and extending them to non-traditional video channels and native placements. We're going to talk about how to navigate this fragmented TV landscape that we're in. How are we strategically thinking about investing between digital and linear and thinking about the emerging platforms that we have coming up? But first, we're going to talk about where it all starts, and that's our data. Like, everyone in this room knows we're only as good as the data that we have, and especially as we all work in channels that make it a little harder to quantify the impact of what we are doing. So please join me in welcoming Steve Gross, the CMO of University of Phoenix, of how they've built a data-powered framework to power their marketing strategy. Steve. 